Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew on a Friday, mm -hmm. sacrificing your Friday night for us. Um, welcome to the show where we play new games, mm -hmm. brand new games on brand old new, consoles. Un unreleased un games. Unreleased, yes. work in progress, brand mm -hmm. new, nobody's ever, it's not been put out, but people have played it. I was going to say, nobody's ever played it. Mm -hmm. Well, people, people have played. tested it, but it has not been released. And we're talking about Wizard of War mm -hmm. Arcade. By Champ Games, mm -hmm. by John Shampo. Shampo, and that is how you pronounce it because ah. he spelled it out for me. Oh, lovely! <laughs> Thank you very much, John. Um, so I want to um, say hi to everyone that's mm -hmm. watching tonight, and all the people that are subscribing. And we got a new subscriber today. Thanks, in nice. fact, in the last ten minutes, Gretams. Oh, hey! And we know Gretams. Yes, we do. Um, so thank you so much <laughs> for supporting the show. Mm -hmm. And the other people <coughs> who did. <laughs> yeah, cheers. My water gives you cheers. Mm. The other people, the other Twitch subscribers, uh, Ada Man, Atari Spot, you can see the list right there. I actually added in uh, Gretams. Uh, uh, where, where? Yeah, where, yeah where, virtually where, where? floating <laughs> right here. I did uh, for a second there think it was physically taped up to the wall when he yeah, did that. I, wrote I, it I on didn't. The wall. I didn't quite understand what he was doing <laughs> until until I looked over at the screen. So. Uh -huh. Ate a man, Atari spot, <laughs> a tasty sandwich, carcass, Charles and Chad, ground trooper, Jeffrey two one two three, Mister Fix, Muddy Funster, and Tiki Dan K. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your contribution to the show. And if you'd like to do it, you can just click the subscribe button, and it's free if you have. Amazon Prime linked to Twitch Prime, mm -hmm. and you should do that because it costs you nothing, and it supports the show. Um, so let's actually do some unboxing, mm -hmm. and one of the unboxing I like presents. I like I it. love presents, mm -hmm. and one of the unboxings is actually related to the game we're playing tonight, and I did have to unbox it early um, because I had to use it for testing. Um, so let's pretend. I'm opening it up. It's not really unboxing. <laughs> if you already <laughs> opened it, that's Well, okay. it's unboxing for them, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. And Ooh. it is this. And you don't know what it is because it's not for sale anywhere. What it is is... That's fancy. Nathan Tolbert's uh, multi-tap. Hide your, hide your face. Hide your face. There we go. Uh, it is a multi-tap where it uh, has one input there and two inputs, two outputs, sorry, two inputs for two joysticks and one output. And it's made specifically for this game, for Wizard of War. Very cool. Because uh, Wizard of War uses the Atari Vox for high scores and also for voices. And it has a lot of voices. We'll get into that later. So you can plug two joysticks and your into Atari port Vox. one ah. and the Atari Vox into port two. <clears throat> More like a combiner than a splitter. Um, oh, I want to say hi to everybody in the uh, in the chat here that's talking. Ground Trooper, Mr. Fix, Dan AVC, Charles and Check, uh, Gretams, Johnny WC. Now, who could that be? John Shampo, welcome. <laughs> uh, Ground Trooper, uh, Mr. Fix, I think I've said all these names. Yeah, just a bunch. Of, not too many people talk. Mm -hmm. Just just some people. Nice poster. Um, so this is a prototype. Mm. Um, so it's a 3D printed case, as you mm -hmm. can see. Nice white. And uh, it works works great. Um, and it's yeah. not too bad looking. Give it a quick, quick test run earlier just to yeah. make sure it would work for the stream. So. Yeah, so we could both yeah. play at the same time yeah. and yeah. have voices exciting, and high scores and all of that. Um, so let's go on to the next unboxing, mm -hmm. um, which is this package. And I think I know what it is, but I'm not going to not going to reveal. I'm not going to guess. Wait till we open it. You're very bad at hiding things, you know. Oh, that. I think that'll just say Vancouver. So. No, well, <laughs> there we go. It's gone. It's gone now. It's gone. I always forget about the uh, extra labels and things. Extra labels that they put and on things there. like so much identifiable. Yeah. Identifying so. things. Uh, let's see what's in this box. Oh, it's in a sandwich bag. One of those big sandwich bags. 
Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, that's the Let's not show answer. that part. <laughs> that's probably got an address. Oh, it is what I thought it was. <clears throat> it is an Uno card. Come on, hide your face. Hide your face. There we go. Game program. Oh, 2600 Uno. Uh, use with joystick controllers. Yeah. Good. Um, uh, the Uno card, program and audiovisual 2018 Electro Trains, produced by the Brewing Academy. Um, so what this is, mm -hmm. is very similar um, to the Harmony cart. Um, I hear nothing oh. right now. What? How come you guys didn't complain? I had to turn mine like, up. Uh, didn't complain like a million years ago. Oh, it is a ago. little low. Look at it. It's check, check, check. Oh, interesting. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Oh, okay, it's not off. It's just really, really quiet. Um, let me turn it up a bit. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Test, test. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah, because I have a new setup here, which I'll get into a little bit. Sorry for blasting out anybody's eardrums <laughs> as I turned it up. Yeah, much better. I see much better there. That's good. <laughs> yes. So it is very similar uh, to the Harmony cart, the Uno cart, um, but I've been told it actually has a faster processor mm -hmm. and it's cheaper, um, but has different abilities. But why I got the Uno cart is because I was approached by somebody who is programming a game. Um, yes, I like this. You were able to choose the Uno cart label. Oh, nice. And uh, I really like this kind of classic the classic one, black and the red. Black yeah. and red, yeah. Yeah, I like that too. Um, somebody approached me, I can't say who and I can't say what game, but they are making the first Uno uh, Uno Kart specific game. Mm. Just like there's Harmony Kart specific games that can't just run on any hardware. It needs the extra processor in there. Mm -hmm. um, this game needs the uh, processor in here to run. Um, so it's the first game of my knowledge that it needs this cart to run. You can't run it on Stella yet, but I've heard that's in the works. So he had to program the game using this. So okay. load the game every time on this. <clears throat> Somehow, I don't know if this there's a USB um, version of this so that you can feed it directly. Atari says hello. So he might have had to program it, put the SD card in, and then try it each time. Um, so it looks like it uses a full SD, not a micro SD. Oh yeah, which it does is, look like, which is like normal, a full SD. Yeah. Which is exactly the same as this. Mm -hmm. Yes, Atari has joined us. Yes. Um, so that will be coming up very soon. I'm gonna, now that I've got the cart, I'm gonna check in with the programmer to see if I can put it on the air, maybe even Wednesday. Mm. That would be good. Oh my God, Wednesday's crazy. Big, big day on Wednesday mm. for games. Um, that'll be really good. But we have a big, big day today. Mm -hmm. For game, for a game, which is why you're all here. Not for us, not for the kitty. Well, maybe a bit a for, the bit kitty. for the kitty. A little bit for the kitty. He is a very sweet kitty. He is, and he's named after my favorite game console. <laughs> what, what a coincidence, huh? Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, also in the news, if you've got a demo, um, Al from Atari Age wants to put it in his booth at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Mm. So if you've got a demo of a game to a point where you think people can play it and it's good, um, just get in contact with Al. It's, uh, there's a thread in the Atari Age forums under events and Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Um, he says, we'll have many game consoles set up this year at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, allowing show attendees to try out new games as well as current games in development. If you uh, have a game that you're currently developing, 2600, 5200, 7800, Atari 8-bit, Jaguar, or ColecoVision, uh, it'll be far enough along to be playable at the show and you'd like it on display uh, in a public venue and, you haven't, and we haven't spoken about it yet, please send me a PM and we can talk. I try not to have more than one or two games per system at the show, and each game gets its own 10, 8 by 10 inch display placard to describe the game a bit. Um, so they have nice little displays 
Remember hmm. that? Where you could, I they do. had a, a bunch of like Commodore monitors actually yep. set up and a bunch of Ataris and it had a little explanation of some games. You're looking for a game that we did play there? No, no. Oh. Um, you were talking about placards and when uh -huh. we did our retro video game and we made a whole bunch of placards for our game systems. Do you yeah, still have them? Yeah, quite as big as his. There's the but... Atari. Grab the... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I just, when you said that, it just reminded me. That's okay. Yeah. Too many things on the shelf. Yeah, we um, every once in a while we have uh, friends over and bring out all the game systems. Find the face. There we go. Yeah. So I just gave a little rundown and some. Oh, there's Keystone Capers on there. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. It just reminded me of that. I don't except <laughs> way bigger. Way bigger. Yeah. And, Danny, and that's very cool. Dan AVC yeah. says he's here because the games, uh, Cub Games, Cubs, Cubs, game Cubs game was at 1 p.m. <laughs> Central Time. Yeah. Yeah, he did say that on uh, Facebook. He said that's the only reason he's here. Oh. Normally he watches the baseball game. No. Oh, Tiki Dan K says, yay. <laughs> Probably in relation to Keystone Capers. <laughs> um, so some demos. They're going to have uh, Amoeba Jump. Very awesome. We played that, and we'll be playing that very soon. Mm -hmm. The final version. Very exciting. I think on Wednesday. Very I don't know. Yes. And the game we're playing tonight, Wizard of War <clears throat> Arcade, is going to be one of the demos there. Oh, awesome! And uh, you will be able to play John Champeau, oh. the, the creator, because he will be there as well. I, I get a sense um, he will probably kick my ass at it. He's that's probably okay. <laughs> he's probably pretty good at it. I would mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. Usually the people that are making these ports of the games are like, this is my favorite game. I've always wanted to, to be on the mm -hmm. uh, 2600, so they have to make it themselves. Mm -hmm. Or, in this case, wanted to make a good version <laughs> on the 2600 rather than the flickery mess. But we'll get to that. Uh, so, let's talk about John Champeau's background in the games that he's made. And we've played a bunch of them on the show. Mm -hmm. Uh... Uh, Conquest of Mars, 2006. Mm -hmm. Ladybug. Oh, I love Ladybug. Which we just played. That was oh a really my god, game. that was so much fun. That was a lot of fun. We played it on game. Wednesday as part of the uh, homebrew tournament, round four. Yeah. And that was uh, really so good much game. fun. Yeah, really, really good, good game. Some, good job. some games, <laughs> I, I just have to sit down and play them for an extended period of time, and then I go, oh, okay, this is good. Yeah. This is really good. Yeah. There's yeah. a. It's it's simple, and yet there's. it, it Like, as you say, it's like the. Similar to a Pac-Man game, a chasing yeah. game where things are chasing you down and you're chasing them down. Yeah. But just the gates and the and the movement of of, of, of how the monsters are released mm. and all of that just gives it a little bit of complexity that makes it a lot of fun. I, I yeah. Find. yeah. So good. Yeah. There's a lot built into that game. It's a really good game. And then he didn't put out anything for eleven years. Okay. <laughs> Which, we get busy sometimes, when I was right? Look, yeah, when I was looking at his list, I was like, yeah. oh my god, there's a big jump. And then he went crazy again. Uh, he did Super Cobra Arcade in 2017, but mm -hmm. he was developing these, obviously. He didn't oh, just yeah. stop. No. Um, Scramble, also in 2017. I mm -hmm. believe they use the same engine, though. Mm -hmm. um, and then Mappy is coming out at Portland Retro Gaming Expo in three weeks. Excellent. So that will be on my stack a huge stack of games that I'll be Are purchasing. Buying? Oh my god, Mappy, so good. <laughs> and then Wizard of War in 2019, mm -hmm. next year. Um, so let's take a look at the arcade version of Wizard of War. Okay. To see where it came from. And this came about out in 1980. Mm -hmm. um, 1980. In, in the arcade. And I think it probably made a, a pretty big impact because of the voices that it had. So let's uh, rewind it a bit. And I won't be able to hear this. Oh, you guys will. So I'm going to mute us because it will... Okay. Actually, we won't. Uh, let's just play it. Let's just play the video here. Let me switch over one second. Oh, where, there it is. There's the screen. So it's got, this is like the attract mode. Let's get it playing. There we go. Um, so actually the um, those oh, little wow. stars in the background. Yeah. Um, he has retained that for this, this version, mm. um, which was not, well, we'll go over what the differences are, but 
Um, if you look at this, and it's pretty good graphics for 1980. I think it is. Yeah, it looks, uh, it's pretty sharp. Yeah, and it's it's a maze game. Yeah. But you're not collecting little dots. You're no, shooting things. you're shooting things. So it's like they took Pac-Man, removed the dots, kept the ghosts, and gave you bullets. Mm. That's in its its most basic sense, really. Um, so let's just... <laughs> So you can see that it did have a voice for a second. It'll come back. It is very talkative, but... Ooh, Warlock. There we go. Escaped. So, some things you can't... Sh you don't shoot. Voices are crazy. But he said, warrior something something. <laughs> so, there we go. There's some of the uh, sounds of Wizard of War from the arcade. And um, I had never seen... I had never seen the arcade machine uh, in the arcade. Mm. I only know this from my Commodore 64 and okay. the Atari 2600. Mm. But mostly the Commodore 64. Uh, Dan AVC says, I played the arcade version as well. Whenever I go to Galloping Ghost Arcade, I tried to play it. Did did anybody play it from, like, in the 80s, or even 90s, but in the 80s when it came out? Because I've never even seen this, the arcade, machine. The I arcade machine, I don't think yeah. I've, I saw it at Portland Retro Gaming no, Expo. or I don't think I've ever seen it. I, I, no. It doesn't uh, ring any bells. Yeah, so I think it wasn't too popular. Um, but I will... I'll, I'll go over the Wikipedia art, uh, article later. You are both very talented. What are you saying about us? <laughs> no. We're not playing the game. <laughs> John Champo. Oh, talking and, about yeah, yeah. yeah, not us. John is very, nice, very nice talented. Nice try, nice try, yeah. though. Good try. Um. <laughs> <laughs> John Champo is to the 2600 what Bob de Crescendo is the, to the, the 7800. There we go. Yes, it used to be in an arcade near our original office. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I have... Uh, no, I haven't seen no, it. No, I have not seen it. No. So now we're going to take a look <laughs> at um, the 2600 version Yeah. of this game, of Wizard of War. Um, this I did play a little bit, mm. not too much. Unfortunately, I found out today plugging this in because it's hooked up to like a digital display mm -hmm. um it has a a line output i looked at it on um stella and it has a line output of 263 lines which um okay. is not an even number which apparently none of this equipment digital equipments hate um uh, odd numbers odd numbered line counts yeah so when it starts playing it's gonna go like this so like crazy with an odd number line count, what display would deal with that well? Like just just a CRT. CRTs are fine. They, they have, can deal with any kind of they have a line higher, count. They have a higher threshold. Okay. Of of issues that it can like it can range the line count can range and it just goes blah blah just mm. puts it on the screen mm. and doesn't care too much. But if there's a blank line, it just leaves a blank line kind of thing. If it drops out for a second and comes back the next second, it's just fine. Okay. It doesn't have to readjust and go, oh, no, what? Because modern televisions are like auto-sensing. So like, what are you feeding me? Oh, Let me figure this out. And they're out. trying to self-adjust to what you're feeding yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, okay. oh, is this 1080p? Mm -hmm. This is 720p? Is it 4 di 4 p um, So here we go. So let's take a look at this. So this, this is not the new one. I want to give a disclaimer. This is not the new game. <laughs> this is the game that was released in 1982 by CBS Electronics. We're only going to play it briefly. Um, just to give you an idea. This is just you, by the way. It's yeah. just single player. And I... 
There we go. Or, no, okay, that's fine. So the jumpiness is because we're not playing it on CRT, and it's programmed badly. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it worked fine back in the day it, for jumpiness, like jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. So just ignore that. Um, just, just ignore it. Now, the biggest problem people had with this game, if you take a look, <laughs> besides the jumpiness, is the same issue that people had with Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. Is there's a lot of enemies and there's two, like there's four enemies. Okay. And two players on the screen. And so what programmers did then was just flickered everything. All the time. So if there was X, oops, X number of enemies, they would just flicker it, like four enemies, they would flicker it, um, four divided by 60, one fifteenth of a second, right? Mm -hmm. And as a, as it counted down to two, it was one flickering when they don't need to. Yes, pretty much that's the explanation. Mm -hmm. um, because that only applies on the same line. Okay. If you are if you are on the same line. But if they're not on the same line, they're still flickering. There's no need to flicker, but yeah. they are flickering. So if you have two guys, two characters on the same line, don't need to flicker. If you go to three, you do, because there's only two mm -hmm. um, characters to be able to draw things. So they made, I'm guessing, I didn't analyze it beforehand, they used player one as the two players, mm -hmm. and player, two, player zero as the two players, and player one as all the enemies, and just went flicker, 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 <laughs> like crazy. And it's, it is terrible. It's really, really flickery, despite the jumping. So let's uh, stop looking at that terrible mess. <laughs> <laughs> it is making me go a little wiggy. <laughs> yeah. <that's, laughs> Just the jumping of everything. That's a bit. That's a bit much. Interesting. The colors jump separately. Like like oh. the, the orange numbers kind of stayed and then everything else would jump relative to it. So. Yeah. That might be an optical illusion. It, but maybe, could, it very well could be. <laughs> it may be it's the way little, it's, it's treating crazy. things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is um, the 1982 release of Wizard of War. On CBS, of which I have a sticker I need to clean off. Somebody priced, put a pricing sticker on there. Mm. Don't try and pick it off mm -mm, mm -mm. because it's on there. I already tried to pick it off. Um, I do like what it says, though. I can't quite read the first part. Vaporize, vaporize something. All something. Enemies, probably. Bur 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 war. Shoot every Gar War and Thor War. <laughs> Bullseye Warlock. Beat the Wizard. Jo joystick ready. Go. Joystick ready go. <laughs> yeah, there's some very strange names of enemies Star in this War, game. Star Thor War, Warlock, and the Wizard. So. And I and like you are playing Warlord, with an O, not War. 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 Warlord. War. Gotcha. Um, it was only 4K, so they probably didn't have the space to implement intelligent flicker. That is probably why, or they didn't have time. So it's one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, so originally, John Champeau posted about um, his intentions of making uh, Wizard of War in 2007 on Atari Age. Mm -hmm. um, he did, uh, oh, what's the timeline here? Uh, because he was working on that before he posted about it a number of years. Um, but he originally posted it about it in 2007, and he said... Uh, here's a sneak peek at a game I'm finishing up. It's a rewrite of the game Wizard of War. Although it's already available for the 2600, that cart, I personally have never been able to play, for it, play it for more than a few minutes due to the insane flicker. Mm. Which I understand, because mm -hmm. it's, it's bad. Mm -hmm. I started this project a few years ago, but somehow got side, uh, distracted and the maze engine was used for another game. And he links to Ladybug. Mm. So he kind of started on this and went, oh, I can make Ladybug with a maze. <laughs> because you make a game engine, it's kind of good for similar games. Mm. Um, so, yeah, both are maze games. Um, welcome. Mm -hmm. um, some features I hope to include or I've already implemented. Better graphics with animation, thanks to Nathan. Uh, bigger missiles instead of just, just dots. Better flicker management. That's that's the whole reason for making... Uh, that's the biggest reason, probably, for making this yes. update. Mm -hmm. 
Um, also the voices. Uh, better uh, text display of the current dungeon, dungeon name, etc. Better sounds. Atari Vox support for high scores and speech. Mm -hmm. Improved radar display. There's a little radar at the bottom. Where, yes, yes. Because some of the monsters are invisible. They, they, they go in and out of, of the yes. screen. And yeah. that's yeah. A, a really big component. And I always forget to look at it. I know. I oh, I'm done the maze. Oh, yeah. I'm dead. And then you're like... <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, what's that red? Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I always forget to look. Improved score display, <laughs> uh, timer me. display when starting a level, more mazes, special mazes, the arena, the pit, warlord levels, etc. Improved escape tunnel display, transition screens, double score dungeon, get ready, go, cool title screen, and most importantly, better gameplay. Mm -hmm. I hope to have a playable demo soon, which, uh, nope. <laughs> still has not been done so this is the playable demo mm -hmm. and you'll be actually be be able to play it in three weeks so that that's very exciting. is the delivery yeah. on his promise yeah. um 11 years later <laughs> <laughs> but these things take time it's they one do. it's one guy plus help yeah on various things like graphics oh yeah and sound usually there's on these big games um like this there's the programmer mm -hmm. and they get a lot of help and input from the forums there's the graphics person who's like an expert at graphics. Mm -hmm. And then there's the sound person. Mm -hmm. And usually the sound person is Ice Bosta. <laughs> and usually the graphics person is Nathan Strum. Mm -hmm. If I believe, if I'm getting, yep. Yep, Nathan Strum. Mm -hmm. I'm almost all these games I have up here, it's always the, this, the same uh, group of characters. Because the programming takes a lot of time. Well, yeah. Um, but the graphics can be done a lot quicker, still takes time. And the sound can be done, done a lot quicker. Yeah. I suppose I'd, he mm. says, <laughs> who's, who's gracing us uh, yeah. with his presence in the chat? Yes, I did the sound effects. And Vox Speech raises hands and waves. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, Mike. Yes, very, mm -hmm. very good job on all the games you do uh, sound yeah. effects and speech for. Mm -hmm. um, and then on February 22nd, 2013, CDS Games started a hack of the 1982-2600 version. So... Um, what CDS games did is took that version and started improving the graphics and the maze layout. And that was going to be destined for a release on cartridge. Okay. Probably because people hadn't heard um, from the other version, from John for a while. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, it's, it's dead or whatever. Um, and Al had started, Al, Albert Iruso from Atari Age had started collecting a bunch of these cartridges um, for the release of that hack of Wizard of War. Um, because for special releases, um, usually limited um, edition releases, like he'll make 50 of a special cartridge and put them out in proper box and everything. Mm -hmm. So he started accumulating those cartridges for the hacked release. Um, does he make them or does he recycle no. old ones? He recycles old ones. Really? So people send, uh, he, either, he either finds them or mo most of the time I believe people send in cartridges and you can get credit in the Atari Age store mm. for cartridges if they're not, you know, dented or ruined in some way. As long as, you know, he just peels off the label and puts That's new very labels cool. on. That's very cool. So. That's recycling at its it, best. It is. It is. It yeah. is. P people are done with those games. <laughs> yeah. um, or the or labels the games, trashed. Right? Well, well, I suppose the hardware inside the cartridge, he Could would replace too, right? Yes. So so really, it's reusing the plastic shell if, if yes. the game itself is broken. Or, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Or the label's right. ripped and, you know, somebody has doubles or something. Yeah. Um, but that comes back into play because... Mm. Um, John now had an agreement with CBS and they talked it over and the, those cartridge and, and Al and those cartridges are now going to be going towards this release hmm. of Wizard of War Arcade. So that's really exciting. So I'm guessing for a limited time, he'll be offering it on the original cartridge casing hmm. before going to a normal black casing because I don't know how many he has. I'll find out. <laughs> We'll find out. Okay, and then, all of a sudden, September 13th, 2018, John Champeau emerges from the shadows. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, for, about the Wizard of War arcade. Mm -hmm. He says, hello all. Now that Mappy is almost complete and awaiting its release at PR, uh, PRGE, in a few weeks, Champ Games would like to announce our next game, Wizard of War Arcade. 
For those who may not know, Champ Games started a Wizard of War rewrite back in 2007 that was never complete. The code has been resurrected and the current version takes full advantage of the latest technology, mm -hmm. including CDF bank switching for enhanced graphics by Nathan Strum, and all the arcade mazes, arcade-like sound effects and speech, created by... Oh, I'm still good. <laughs> created by <laughs> Mike Haas. Haas? 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 Don't know. H-A-A-S. By Mike. Haas? By I supposed to. Haas. Haas? 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 Is it uh, possibly... Um... Dutch? Haas? It looks like Dutch, doesn't Haas. it? Let's not make any assumptions. Yeah. Um, uh, using the Atari Vox Plus, over 50 plus phrases. Additionally, it will support Nathan, Nathan Tolbert's revamped multi-joystick adapter, which will allow two joysticks to be plugged into one port while leaving the second one free for in-game speech while the Atari Vox, with the Atari Vox and high score saving. Mm -hmm. Th special thanks to CDS Games and Nuki Shea for their blessing an amazing work on the Wizard of War 2, the arena, which is the other one I was talking about briefly. Mm -hmm. uh, hack, which provided the inspiration for some of the cutscenes and mazes. And it was also the game that Mike's Atari Vox speech were, was originally developed for. Cool. So a lot of the development that was going into the hack got transferred over to Wizard of War Arcade, the one we're going to be playing. Mm. So it was a, a, a very nice transition to kind of conglom conglomerate everything together. Pull and, it all together. Yeah. And a lot of the ga these games, uh, homebrew games, come, come out like that. Um, sometimes it's just one person, but a lot of the times it's a lot of people mm -hmm. all contributing together. Mm -hmm. The game is about 95% complete, um, probably a lot more so now, um, because that was a couple weeks ago <laughs> he's done a lot of work yeah um and will be available to play available to play with nathan's t multi joystick adapter and atari vox speech at this year's portland gaming expo my brother paul and i will be on hand if you're up for a challenge Excellent. so here is wizard of war arcade let's boot it up actually let's plug in the joysticks properly so uh what you need with this is an extension so a male to male um with a knot in the middle. with a knot of course <laughs> always has a knot yeah. you can't have a cable this like this without a knot yeah and you need to plug this into you hold that mm -hmm. into port one you can see in the webcam into port one and you have the atari box plugged into port two And you have uh, red socks. Where is? Where are they? There they are. Red socks. Red and socks. Pink socks or purple socks. Oh, purple. And let's see. And then we plug in the joysticks. Excellent. One on one side. <clears throat> and I'll one take that the one. Other. Sure. I'm totally fine with that. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hold on. I hear a cat <laughs> scratching around. Let's put that down there so it's in view. Oh, that's BSB way back. Oh, well, it won't be in view. So you want that one? Yes, I do. Okay. And we'll have this one. And I have a Genesis RK power stick where you have to hold down the B button. There we go. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. Oh. Happy, happy look. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, let's switch over. There we go. No, I didn't hold it down. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Okay. <laughs> because. Do you know which this... one? Do we both have to hold it down? No, you don't have to hold it down at all. Anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because this is not the actual cartridge. Okay. You can't control the menu um, from the joystick with the splitter. Oh, I see. At this, okay. mo at this moment. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, because of the way it's wired. So. Do you have another joystick you can no. plug in? What you do is you turn it on. Oh, I see. And you use the keys to go through it and then plug it in and then start it up. Save key found. Dual joy found. Hey, Excellent. Insert coin. 
And there's the voices. Okay, now for the disclaimer. <laughs> I apologize in advance. Um, uh, John and I did a lot of troubleshooting over the past week um, to get this going for the show. And it's not going to be playing perfectly. I'm just going to um, tell you that right now. And the thing that's not going to be playing perfectly is the game's going to be fine. It is the voices. Mm. And the reason is because the Atari Vox that I have here is broken. And it is only... Oh, really? Yes. And it has only been revealed because of this game. Because this game pushes the Atari Vox so far <laughs> more than any other game that uh. has ever been put out for the 2600. A <laughs> <laughs> so it has even menu voices. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Um, the, and this, uh, we did a lot of research and we found there was one other game that pushed it as far as this one does and it's for the 7800. Mm. Um, let me just find some information on that. If I have it here, hi Atari, and do I have it, do I have it, do I have it, oh, I may not have it here, but I can just, uh, I can just summarize it. Um, what, what happens is that not all, the, not all Atari boxes are broken, this one is broken, there are definitely a number of them that are a problem. That hey, won't work so well with this game? Going. Yes, mm -hmm. with this game and another game Okay. Um, on the 7800. Okay. Most Atari Voxes will be fine. Okay. Um, so we're going to do more investigation and find out how big of a, a um, manufacturing run there was mm -hmm. for this. Find out if possibly there's a workaround. And if there's not a workaround, um, people will have to replace their Atari boxes, which oh, is obviously the last shame, last yeah. thing we want to do. Yeah. Um, so when it dies, it kind of gets overloaded. One is it plays too many voices. I need a laser nut flower. <laughs> one way one way it dies is it plays too many voices at once. Okay. Like just it feeds too many voices, and there's some sort of buffer mm. that gets overloaded, and then it just kind of resets. And when you hear the do de do the boot up sequence, sometimes you don't hear it. Mm. That means it's dead. I didn't it's, hear that when we were playing it, but it would just stop. It would, it would some, just stop. And sometimes it just stops. Yeah. The um, game the game continues working yeah, the game's just fine. fine. It's just the voices stop. So. The other, okay, that makes sense. The other way it dies is certain phrases kill it. Really? <laughs> certain phrases kill it, which is super annoying. Yeah. And we were trying to, uh, starting to eliminate those. And it would just, it was just too much. It, okay. was, it would take too long. No, there's, that's fine. There's like almost 70 phrases in wow. this. So it wow. is huge. It's the biggest talking game ever on that's the 2600. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Enough chatting. Yes. That's the disclaimer. It <laughs> may I cut out. Not, it's not that it may cut out. It will cut yeah, out. Yeah, at some point. And it is not the game's fault. It's not John's fault. It is the Atari the Box's Atari Box fa is, fault. Is struggling a little. Yeah, yeah so I'm yeah. going to get it replaced when I go down to Portland. I'm going to talk to Al. Okay. And then we're going to ship it off to somebody that has already been investigating this because they wanted a broken version. Okay. Um, and we're going to see if he can take a look at it and either find a, a workaround, a fix where it doesn't have to be sent in or something. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Mm hmm. Hey. Okay. Arrest. Yeah, arcade version or standard? Uh, we're going to play standard for now. Okay, what was the There's difference? There's advanced. Novice, advanced, and novice, okay. standard, and advanced. But okay. we're just going to play standard. Standard it is. There's Champ Games, a beautiful title screen. Yes, Wizard yes. of War Arcade. Okay. So, as you notice, some nice flicker management. Okay, we could kill each other, so yeah, be very you can. careful. You actually get a thousand points. <laughs> so there's incentive. Yeah, you sure. Make sure that I'm on all the right settings here. Oh, that was very close and stupid of me. <laughs> if you can beat a threat, then look, at you... the, look at the characters on the bottom. There's ten, ten characters on the bottom. 
I feel like the Atari box is doing better this time. Uh, so because far, it would so die good. off of the first the uh, when we were test. Um well this there it goes. It's <laughs> <laughs> and one little laugh after it dies. Um I will reset it in a second. Oh what? I thought there was a pause. There we go. Okay. Now you can reset it by unplugging it and plugging it back in. Atari box. Which is Oh, you can press the button. Ah! Oh man, I'm not doing very well this this game. Wow, the pause is awesome. Yeah, the pause is awesome. Um. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> because you just switch ah! it. Oh god, forgot. Come on. Get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh no! My burritos oh! are radioactive. <laughs> I love it. Laughs as it dies. Yes. One little lap. Sometimes it plays one more sample before it dies. Oh now, I, I don't know if that sample was buffered and that's why it dies. No, you get not <laughs> but I'll try and get it to play as many samples as possible um, by unplugging and it plugging back in so you can hear all the voices. But at some point, we will just have to kind of just play the game and not have to just keep plugging and plugging back in. Okay, get that warlock! Oh, you got you. me. Oh, I'm not doing very well. <laughs> Died multiple times. And one already. guy left. Well, two guys left. Mm, two guys. Atari Cat, how can you sleep during this game? I it's so know. exciting. I know. Double score dungeon. dungeon. And it's dead. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 oh, no, it's not dead. Oh. You only need to... Is it dead? Okay, it's going crazy. Is it? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the ah, you got going. me! Oh, sorry. This level is very hard, I find. The arena kind of level? Yeah, because it's so open. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Walk into my path. No. Nope. There we go. There you go. Ah! Whoa! Oh! Because the bullets take so long to traverse. Ah, no, watch out! No, don't get me! Oh! Don't, don't stand there! <laughs> oh, I got him. If you put the difficulty like switches on A, you can't shoot each other. No, 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 I like this. No, 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 no. no. I like, ch I like no, challenge. No, 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 no. No, come on. We don't want to shoot each other. No, but you get a thousand points. <laughs> That's not... No, well, it's not a, a small amount, I guess. Oh! He surrounded me. The fire box is going crazy. I love that it's, it's doing better. Oh, I'm there. Oh. It's kind of resetting and then coming back. So, good. Are you dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. That's okay. Keep going, keep going. Get those right, guys. Now is the Warlock, time you have to... Gurlock, whatever they're called. Gurlocks. They are the... Thor War? I don't know. If you my babies, I'll pop you. If you destroy my babies, I will... Something. <laughs> what? What? Ha 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 ha. Ha Ooh. This one is very open. Oh my goodness. They're overwhelming. Look at them. They? Oh my gosh, there's so many. And and half of them are invisible. So you kind of have to just kind of stay in one spot and, and kind of protect yourself almost mm -hmm. rather mm -hmm. than going after them. There's no time limit. They do get very fast after a while, but there's no like time limit and I believe they get fast um, only because you're shooting other ones can you check out the uh, what people are saying oh it's not time for the uh, wizard yet you are in the non -cancer floor. so the voice is so crazy <laughs> is it loud enough for you guys the voice yeah Oh, oh, if you destroy my babies, I'll pop you in the oven. I'll pop you in the <laughs> oven? Oh my god! Uh, the monsters oh speed god. up every eight seconds. Yes, oh, that is so definitely there, obvious. Yeah, they so do get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Like, <laughs> so there's crazy. too many! And look at them, I can't even come out because they'll kill me instantly. <laughs> oh, oh, voice is good. Oh, oh 
you did well. I can't wait to do it again. The voice is working. The voice is doing really well. It so. is resetting, but it's coming back. So, awesome. Yeah. Find me a poison flower. Find me a poison flower? <laughs> <laughs> You okay. Can score in the floor, the floor. okay, you ready to go again? Uh, oh, this is a much better speed. <laughs> Back to nothing. Ah, oh, why did I did walk you in front of him? Did you kill already? Yes, I walked in front of him. Ah. Watch out. Oh, actually, it's safe. The, um, friendly fire's off. Is it? Yes, should be. Don't oh, never walk in front of him. Let them come to you. No, no, but I sh shot. You I don't don't me. Yep, we're good. Uh, hey, hey. We're good, just testing. It, you. Uh, uh, uh. Find me the wizard of war. I'll try you with my light. I will try you with my light? <laughs> <laughs> I, the voices are really That's good, terrible. and they're not really that different than the arcade voices, which were also very indecipherable. <laughs> ah! Oh, I forgot. It is scary what still. If you try any harder, you only need to. If you try any harder, you will only if you, uh, leave what? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Great job on the voices I supposed to do. Yeah, hilarious. they're really, really good. Ah, that's the problem with shooting down a long hallway. You don't get your bullet back until it hits. Get him, get him, get him, him. Awesome. Fry you with my lightning oh, bolt. Yeah. <laughs> John, it's working. It's continuously working now. Yeah. <laughs> your new your new build somehow kind of fixed it. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Oh no, because it you said it. It is still sounded resetting. like it fails. It is resetting, but it's But it's coming yeah. back. It's coming oh, back, whereas before it definitely wasn't coming back. No, it was gone. We were playing like for five minutes after it had gone. Good job. Good job. Okay. Comes. Get him. Another warrior for my babies to eat. Another warrior for my babies to eat. Yeah, Power. awesome. If you try any harder, you only need to. If you uh, 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 uh. So the wolf is the only one that doesn't disappear. Right? The wolf? We haven't seen the, the wizard at all, have we? Not yet. I think it is comes on a little bit higher level. Yeah, but, have... but last time we played, it came after the first level. Or the second level. Really? Yeah. There we go. Did I get him? Yeah. Oh, I did. Yep. Awesome. Nice. You are in the yeah, because I was floor. noticing that. Maybe you need both players playing. No. The... No? Is it just me, or does a wizard not come out as often as I remember? We just well, came out as we it, were saying yeah, that, Yeah, right? and, and when we played it last time, it, it, it came out a powerful, lot more frequently, so I don't know if that was something. Wizard doesn't show up on level 1 or 2. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. But, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I guess there's some okay. randomness to it. Oh my goodness, they're moving so fast. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Come on. <laughs> I find a good strategy is to go against a wall really close and continuously no, fire. Yeah, if you can go back and forth, but I find I'm not very one. fast with flipping sides. And I That's find... hard. And, and uh, uh, part uh, of the problem is 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 uh, more. Uh, if you is, try um... any harder, you only need to. If you uh, uh, uh. This is really close to the arcade. Oh, good job. 34,800. <laughs> oh, there's different chances. 12.5% chance on three, so that's why. So it goes up. Oh, as, it, as you go along, that makes oh, sense. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Oh my god, now it's crazy. Now it's crazy. <sighs> Now you have to almost watch the bottom more than the okay. top, like the oh. the radar. Do not spill your wine. <laughs> <laughs> As water, but okay. <laughs> okay, our water. I heard the wine glass. Mm. 
the radar is so good that you could play with just the radar. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it moves. Yeah. It, it... Oh. Wizards coming a lot in this game. Oh. And I'm getting them every time. You got the wizard. <laughs> My name is Mary Fire Warrior. War what did that say? War Warlord Dungeon or something. Dungeon 8. Oh, you hit 9 before. It was did pretty. I? I think so. I don't think I've... Oh my no, God. you don't think you beat 8? Oh. <laughs> you <can start laughs> Dungeon 8 is very difficult. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let you play for okay. a bit. I'm going to read out some stuff. Okay. Ooh, nice score. I beat John. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, let's go to... Do you want you and a computer or just you yourself? With a computer playing the second person? Yes. I'll play myself. That's okay. fine. I'm playing on that? I don't know. We'll see. Actually, you can set it to the other one. Do you like the other joystick? Um, no, no, it's fine. Okay. Pff, I doubt it immediately, of course. <laughs> yeah, <it's ready. laughs> Thank terrible, you. terrible. That's not a good start. No. Okay, so let's go to some notes, which should fill in some questions um, that people are asking. Okay. Uh, here's some notes and tidbits for the game's development history. Uh, credits, development, me, lol, which is John Shampo. Uh, and yes, it's pronounced Shampo. Shampo. Shampo? Shampo. Shampo? Not Shampo. C'est pas Shampo? <laughs> Champ. Champ dash O. Shampo. Yeah, Shampo. I get it. <laughs> I think that's what we've been saying the whole time. Shampo. I hope so. Um, graphics, Nathan Strum. Sound effects and speech phrases, Mike Haas. If you like you only need to... Turn down the voices a bit. I think they might be a bit high. Um, history. Originally started way back in 2003, so this game is 15 years in the making. And eventually put on the shelf when it decided to use the maze code to make Ladybug instead. Uh, restarted. You check, check. Was fast. Restarted in 2007, none of the 2003 code was used. Originally planned on being a 16K game with no DPC plus or extra memory. Atari Vox plus voice was planned. Game was about 20% done when I decided to make take a hiatus from 2600 programming. There, we can turn it down here. There we go. Now that should be good, hopefully. Um, so that explains his long absence. Um, decided to take a hiatus from 2600 programming about eight years. Nathan Strum did the graphics for this version as well. Rebooted in 2018. Code from the 2007 version was ported over to use CDF32K bank switching. There is a hack of the CBS version of WoW started in 2009 called Wizard of War The Arena. Oh my god, so loud. It's like an arcade in here. Um, that has been extensively worked on by AA members, CDS Games, New Quiche, and Ice Bosta, Mike Haas. Atari Vox Voice was planned for the hack as an include and is included. Speech phrases created by Mike, but as of today has not been completed. Both CDS and Nuki gave their blessing for me to finish my version of WoW Arcade, and they also plan on finishing oh, they also plan on finishing their hack at some point, minus the speech. Can't wait. Great job all. Freaking love Ladybug, that game is crack. Yes it is. Mm -hmm. It is very addictive, actually. Mm -hmm. It's very fun to play. Uh, improvements over the CBS. So these are improvements over the cartridge version that uh, came out in 82. Uh, contains all 24 arcade mazes. Single line resolution sprites. That's why it looks so good. They're very detailed sprites. Uh, and better flicker management. Like perfect flicker management, I, I, from what I can tell. Um, title screen and scoring screen. 
get ready, go, and double score dungeon screen, starfield during gameplay, and get ready, go screen. So he's taken the starfield, all the dots on the screen from the arcade. <coughs> and that makes it a lot more interesting to look at. Um, game over text at the end. Nine second countdown timer to enter maze. So you don't have to go out right away. You oh, know I that? know. Yes, okay. yes. Good. Are the voices dead now? Uh, I haven't heard it. Ugh, yeah. Yeah, he's not laughing at me anymore. So. Okay. <laughs> that went for <laughs> a actually... long time. Uh, just... That was the longest ever. Uh, arcade like turn. Da -da -da -da. More authentic uh, arcade sounds. Includes Atari Vox speech, about 50 phrases integrated into the gameplay. Four skill levels. Four? Maybe four planned. I only saw three. Uh, high scores per skill level, saved to the save key Atari Vox at present. So, like in a lot of the other games, you can play on the uh, easier or normal or hard, and it'll keep separate uh, scoreboards for each of those. Five play modes. One player, yellow or blue, with or without robot player two, and two player. Difficulty switches in A position will make the player shot unable to kill the other warrior. Oh. So you can have one person be able to kill, but not the other person be able to kill the other person. So you can have two different... That's kind of mean. That is kind of mean. Good handicap, I guess. If the other person's really good. Um, uh, demo mode. Really good demo mode. Uh, this starts with six enemies. CBS starts with four. Yeah, I only counted four on the CBS version, which makes a lot of sense because they had no flicker management, and if they pushed it to more, you'd barely even see the characters on the screen. It'd just be like, flick, flick, flick. It'd be terrible. Terrible. But you can put more characters in here because... You know, it has flicker management, so as long as, if there's only two on the same line, so if you look there at the, all the wolves, are they wolves? They look like wolves. They always look like wolves to me. See, there's only one on one line, two, two on the same line, no flicker. There's no flicker at all right now. Until three, all three cross there, then there's a tiny bit of flicker, but then it goes away. Super awesome. Only three skill levels planned. That was a typo. Okay, that makes sense. Um, a pause via color black and white. Yeah, that's awesome. Because it's not just a pause, because some games you flick it and it pauses and then you have to flick out of it to unpause it. This one you press the button to unpause so that when you're, you're ready to play right away, you don't have to flick the switch, go back to your joystick and start playing because this is a high action game. Mm -hmm. So you need, you need it so you can start again with the button. That's like kind of just a pause button, and that's a unpause button. Very, very smart. Um, supports the multi-tap adapter um, being developed by Nathan Tolbert that, uh, that allows up to four joysticks. And this prototype uh, allows two, but the final one, or there might be two versions, so we don't know. Um, the final one will have four. So you can have four player games with the Atari box. That is amazing. That will be so amazing. And I think it'll spur on um, development of a lot more um, games, mm -hmm. um, party games, which is which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, because I had a game in mind that I would have had to use the paddles for to do four players. But now with this multi uh, adapter, I could do it with the joystick. It still might be better with paddles, but um, that is so amazing that now it oh, two versions planned two port and four port thank you pa button to unpause is a feature of all champ games oh i don't think i've ever um put any of the other games in pause um but i've only put this one in pause to play with the atari box so it's too much fun you just keep on playing um oh bye wade rain thanks for dropping in um so yeah so once he put out puts out the two port and four port adapters you could actually have eight players if you put a four port in joystick port one and a four port in jo joystick port That's two. That's crazy. I uh, can't imagine a eight player game, but you know, something like uh, Monopoly, like a board game oh, style. Yeah. You could do that. 
or everybody's on their own line on the screen, like horizontal line. Somehow you could do that. I don't know. Spiceware, welcome. Daryl Spice Jr. has joined us in the chat. Grr. Um, Sorry. <laughs> grr. Grr. What level is you ma have you made it up to? Oh, I'm not doing that well. Although it is harder, you have more to kill when you're on your own. <laughs> That's true. It doesn't get any easier, does it? It doesn't. No, it's down. definitely harder. Um, two player is supported without the multi tap by plugging in two joysticks, but this precludes the use of Atari Box. Oh, so you can, you don't you have the option <laughs> of playing this, <laughs> of playing Wizard of War with just two joysticks straight in if you want if you don't yeah, if, if you, you don't, don't have an atari, atari box, box. Yeah. or if you don't have the multi-tap yeah and, and to be honest the the voice is awesome but it is just totally fun to play to, as a two-player game so, oh yeah yeah i'm gonna you um play some? i have a couple thing more read things to read out so you play one <laughs> one more game and then i will play again um these are what's left to do over top of what you see here uh, add in more differences between the skill levels. Right now, the only differences are the number of lives to start. Seven for novice, five for uh, and the standard. What? Five for standard. Seven for novice and five. standard five for advanced. Okay. What? I don't think that's written out correctly. Um, <laughs> it's probably seven, five, and three because this is five. So this is standard. This is standard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe advanced is three lives. I'm guessing. Um, the first Garwar, the yellow monster, appears in Novice earlier in Advanced. Mm. Uh, appears later in Novice, earlier in Advanced. <laughs> Sir, I'm like just running directly into them. Sounds for the Warlock flying and being hit. Yes, I did notice that in the arcade version. Um, the Warlock has no sounds right now, and it has crazy sounds in the arcade version. Really, really cool. So I can't wait for that. Sounds for the wizard in being hit. So those things uh, need to be done. Um, planned additions, if it's possible. Ability to create mazes using an editor. Oh, oh my god. That would be fun. Oh my god, that's awesome. Um, mazes will be saved on the Atari box. <gasps> Has any other game done that before? Ma saving mazes? I don't. Saving any kind of creation within the game. Oh my god, that'll be amazing. <gasps> I bet no other game has done that. I've never heard of that before. Um, so you have to do that now. Because <laughs> that's so cool. And I guess they're all just vertical and horizontal lines. Like, each box, you can... Uh, you yeah. know, you go into edit yeah, mode and you just go quite... on, off, on, off. Oh my god, that's so cool. Uh, more wizard speech phrases. There are still 25 or so that are not included from the arcade. And this is if there's enough room. Uh, team mode, where players can't kill each other. This will most likely replace the difficulty switch option. Players will also be able to revive dead players by surviving the current level with uh, one life, which is then given to the other player to join in the next round. So you can sacrifice a life for the other player. Oh my god, that's cool. Mm. Um, because that is very advantageous to kind of do the balancing out well, it, of it, lives. It is a lot harder with one person. <laughs> it is, for sure. Yes. Like, like when you have two, uh, you cover that ground really quickly. So. Oh, and there's a team. He's planning on doing a team mode where your scores are combined into a team score. Ah! That Sorry. is awesome. Go Tanya, go Mr. Fix says. <laughs> Additional enhancements. Doing again. <laughs> Additional enhancements to advanced node. A mode. Nothing specific, uh, specific planned yet. It may include other monsters, made o maze oddities like shifting maze patterns during a level. Wow. Planned release is the first half of 2019 through the Atari Age store. Uh, David Dries is currently working on the artwork. Um, so there we go. Perfect timing. Back to two players. <laughs> Back to two? Or are you going to play solo for a little bit? Nope. Go. Okay, so everybody who has just joined us, we're playing with two joysticks and the Atari box. So how do we do that? With a splitter! <laughs> with a multi-tap. Created by Nathan Tolbert. Here we 
here's the splitter. Just for the people who didn't see it off the top. Never really used the... Um, the passageway. Have you? The passage? Yeah. No, like left I and have, right? Uh, yeah. Occasionally. Hmm. Never felt the, the need to use it. Um, the other guys use it a lot. The, the, what the is it, the warlock? Definitely. The guy, this guy at the end? It's ah, good to position it. yourself by passageway because oh, yes. he always goes out that way. One way or the other. Oh, that's good with two players. Yeah, so you go to one each One person passage. can go on one side. One but if you want, if, you, if it goes to, towards the other one, you go you flip to the other side. Oh. So, so there, there is a bit of tactic there. Okay, okay, okay. That is very useful. Yeah. Never thought of that. Yeah. Useful. So when you have two people, it definitely makes it easier. It's a warlock. Warlock. Yeah. yeah. Risky. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you have to be so fast in turning around when they come around to get you. There, oh, Ooh, there we good go. Good job. Yeah, and if you're that in the middle close. when the warlock pops up. Ground trooper, yes, definitely. This is really amazing. Yeah. Nice work to everyone. Yeah, yeah. nice work. It's really good. Like every part of it. The graphics are so detailed, and the animations. And um, <laughs> obviously the sounds are so much better, and and the voices, which was it was impossible back in '82 to do that, or they not impossible but very difficult. Um, and I was reading a little bit on the forums about the thoughts behind the voices and and people going, oh, why do you need the Atari box for the voices um, when there's voices in Draconian? Uh, well. The voices in Draconian are actually on the cartridge itself, and they're sampled. And um, oh, and they take up a lot of room. A ton of room. So using the Atari box, it's kind of just sending words to it. Mm. And um, so it doesn't need to save the, um, the actual data of the speech. It just needs to save the, the words, the letters of what it's saying. So I'm guessing in the arcade there was no um, mode <laughs> that you could turn off so that you didn't kill each other. It was always definitely you were going to kill each other if you sh shot each other. Right? I mean, come on, there we go. Nice. No wizard yet. We estimated it would take about 300k to store all the phrases wow. as samples in low quality. Probably not a good thing to do. That would <laughs> probably increase the cost um, a little too much. Oh my god, that was close. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm gonna find a safe spot here. You can still get me. Oh my god. These guys are crazy. Uh, too fast, too fast, too fast! <laughs> and they just keep like multiplying. That's the Every problem. Every eight too. seconds they get faster too. I think there's a max point, a, a maximum There has um, to be a maximum speed. speed. Where's the warlock? Oh, there's one more left. Here's a warlock. Come on. Oh, oh. Nice. Got him. It's good because you get double score. You, if you, you kill have five the warlock, lives and I'm down to one. If you kill the warlock or the wizard, you get double score okay. in the next maze. Ah, dead. Dungeon uh, 7. Dungeon 7. That's about seven where is, I, I yeah. fall apart. <laughs> Me too. I, Dungeon 8 is like Dungeon 8 really is crazy hard. fast. Crazy fast. Oh, see that bump? Mm -hmm. I did find a... I did notice that, is that there's a tiny bug there. See it again? No. It, it bumped me back. Oh, oh you jump back. The, it oh, kind of see. pushes me back. Oh. It's really Get hard. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Mm. I need to find a longer area or something. Oh, it's going to push me out. Go. There we go. I think. Nope. One more. I need to beat Dungeon Eight. There we go. At least the Warlock is slow now. It seems yeah, so slow. Yeah, relatively to the rest of it. No. Not bug. Game does that. Oh, so it does push you. 
I take it back. <laughs> I am definitely not an expert on the arcade version. <laughs> Did seem like something that would be weird to program in. Ah! Dungeon 8. I love the chaos. Again. And, and you it's know just... what? But you know what that noise? Like it, it, it's moving so fast. You're just like, ah! It's like, it's like anxiety, like, you know? It just, it just, I love, I love the, um... Intensity? No, the sound, like the oh. sound that goes along with with the the monsters running around yes. the screen. I think that was a big um, attraction to this game. Yeah, it's, it's dun, really dun, good. Dun, 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 dun. And it's like this this build, and then as it gets faster and faster, it feels more and more intense. So, oh, yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. But when you start over, it's like, uh, uh, yeah, like, no problem. I'll take this. This is good. <laughs> Did Terrible. I you? Did I no, you? no, no. The is wolf. That off? Oh, that's <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I am the same color as the wolves. Yeah, it is a little. Uh... And you're the same color as one of the. What? Bur -war Gar Wars. Oh my god. These names. <clears throat> Hopefully, all the volumes are okay. Because I've just put a new setup in where we can hear the Atari box now as well. So I have external speakers plugged in, and then it routes out of the external speakers. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, uh, slowing down. <laughs> so for you, for those of you who have joined us a little bit late, um, it's not the game that is doing crazy things with the Atari Vox. It is my Atari Vox. <laughs> it is it is part of a run of Atari Vox Plus that is broken. Well, yeah, kind of broken. <laughs> um, that it resets and does strange things and slows down. Um, so I'm going to get it fixed when I go to, I'm going to talk to Al Yerusso and get him, get another one from him. Hopefully he'll bring some and then we're going to show him the issues with it and John's going to bring his and we can show and com um, compare them. And I actually found a program, um, uh, I found a program that you can trigger um, samples really easily. Okay. And I'm able to break that in like three seconds. The Atari box, I totally shut it down. Uh -huh. um, so there's a really easy way to, sh to tell if your Atari box is uh, susceptible to it. Because most games don't um, play this, these many samples. Problem with oh you got him. Problem with being there is you have to wait the whole time for your shot to regen. Yeah, it's a little it's a little um, it's a little slow. Yeah. Find me a wizard of war. Vox is low. Okay, one second. Don't press anything. Yep. Ready? You press. Mm -hmm. You press to go. Oh, I love that option. So cool. Ah. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, it's too slow. There. Good job. Oh, for luck. Got him. Oh, wizard. Ah, get him. Get him. Got yeah. Him. Good job. The goal is to reach the pit. The maze, maze with, with no, no walls. Oh god, that sounds terrible. What level is that on, or is it like a random random chance of getting to it? That sounds terrible. <laughs> the arena is hard enough. Can't imagine a completely open. Level 13? Well, take a little bit more practice, I think, from us to get to level 13. Oh, one more. There we go. Oh, he evaded me once again. Got him. Awesome. Told you, get by the get by the exit. It's gonna go one way or the other. So. Yeah, I unplugged it, plugged it back in to get it back. Thank you for letting me know. It's it's being better than when I was doing my beta testing. I think possibly something in the new build. Like this is today's build. Like it's hours old. Um, oh, good job. 
there are a lot of these yellow guys. Oh, yeah, and they just keep coming. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm dead. Told you, Dungeon 7. That's basically... Damn it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Watch my... It is chaos. It is chaos. Oh, I turned around. Two left. Mm -hmm. Oof. Okay. Mmm. Poor luck. Come on. Got him. I think when you hit Dungeon Set 8, nice you're on job, your Tanya. Own. Mr. Yeah, Fix is your you. cheerleader. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, good luck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is this this is different? Yeah. Oh, what is this Dungeon called? Eight. This is Dungeon Eight, but it's a different. They're different. They're different. Ah, oh, I'm going to. Where am I going to go? The bottom. I'm going to go to the bottom here, right yeah, here. Yeah, that's a good spot. Come to me. Oh, oh. you have to flip. They move so fast. And they're invisible. <laughs> Whoa, they did push me back. That really helped, actually. Watch the radar. Ooh, I might make it to Dungeon 9. Maybe. Ah! <laughs> Level start at 8 are Warlord Dungeons. Less walls. That's yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. 44200. Oh no, nowhere near my top one. I think we might have got double. I'm not even close to the 38 <laughs> there, so. Okay, so we should try on hard level then? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. Why not? Give it a try. Need to find those safe spots, yes. Yeah, like it's all about the safe spots. Single, like, passageways. Yeah. Where the wall is not too far from you, so you can get a, a decent um, return. I guess your fire should come back quickly. Oh, he turned around. I didn't know they could turn around. They don't usually turn around, but that guy did. My babies. My babies. Something, something, warrior. I do have a link with every phrase on it. But... We have to play two-player. <laughs> So I don't get, to, don't get to read it out. It's too much fun playing two-player. There's so few co-op two-player games. Yeah, it's for true. For the 2600. So it's like a rarity to be able to um, cooperatively play. Look at that. Ten, ten guys in a row down there. Ten mm -hmm. characters. Mm -hmm. And they're totally fine. Well, eight. Because we come out, but... So you can see that the that would be a time slice of every twelfth of a second. One twelfth of a second for those five guys across. One player is using one graphics for one and one graphics for the other. Playing the advanced? It feels about the same, but I, I think there's more guys on the screen. <laughs> uh, Kirby. <could be> <laughs> Hello. Oh, good oh, job. That him. was good. Coincidental? Yeah, he kind good of, job. Because he's kind of frozen at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, not much difference in advance right now. Less warriors to start. Yeah. Oh. Okay. More yellow. Yeah, more yellow after the fifth blue guy's killed. Yeah. So there's that, not, I've noticed that too. It's, so not much point in playing the advanced yet. <laughs> so, um, John, a question for you. Are you going for um, arcade... Like an exact duplicate of the arcade? Or are you just going for kind of close to the arcade and then make it workable and fun on the 2600? Because um, most of the stuff I've read is like, oh, you're, you're trying to make it very much like the arcade. Which, is, which was obviously all the, the aim of every port um, of the game because you want people to buy... Um, well, back in the 80s, you wanted to, them to buy a console and the game, so they stayed at home and played it. I always go for close to arcade, but make it fun first, not a quarter eater. And that is an issue with trying to make it exactly the arcade. Um, uh, because the arcades were there to take your money, <laughs> first and foremost. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Oh no! I'm on my own! <laughs> that wasn't gonna last very long. Ah. <laughs> Dungeon 6 on advanced. Yeah. So it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. But we'll go back to normal. Because there's not much. Well, point. you get a much normal higher is normal. score. <laughs> is it <laughs> much, Oh, look! Much higher score. <gasps> Ooh. Two people can enter their name in at the same time. Nice, oh. fancy. Good job. And it knows who I am. It remembered who I was. Because you're second player. Yeah. You put it in before though. Yeah. Okay. Well, when we were playing, I put yeah. that in as as. Uh, That's yeah. really really good. Standards. Yeah. Try to get the higher score. Yeah. Get the score. Novice, we could do quite what well. Pa what happens if both players stand back to back in a Ugh. corridor? Are you invincible? You know what, though, um, you're you're if you're in a corridor, in a large corridor. No, I think if we were. No, both no. Down, uh, well, let's but, try that. Let's but, go down. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, um, you can't shoot again until your bullet hits no, a wall. No, come down here. You, but you can't shoot again until I your know. bullet hits a wall. Let's try it. Right. Now face the other way and just fire. Just hold down the button. Hold down the button. Yeah, we're invincible. Yeah, but... <laughs> like, literally invincible. Yeah, but the, it has to come to you, right? Yeah, it's true. But, in the more advanced levels... They move so fast, though. Well, you don't have these tight quarters like this. They're very yeah, open. Yeah, that's very true. And the walls are further away, so you don't this get your bullet much back. No, it's not much fun. <laughs> But yes. Oh, and then I died, of course. Yes, in the early levels, you can be invincible with two players if you do that. Are you invisible? You're invisible. Invisible at target. Yeah. Invisible and invincible? Invincible. You're close to invincible. A bad time shot with fast monsters will get you every time. Yeah. If they get fast enough, I could see one coming around the corner and just slamming right into you really yeah. fast if you're really close. Well, like when they're a lot, it's just impossible to even keep track of them. It's crazy. That's true. And a very nice game mechanic um, on Wizard of War is that you don't have to come out right away. It's kind of like how in some games you flash for a bit and you're invincible. But this one is like, no, you don't even have to come out. Because those time out. I mean, this one times out too, but... Oh, my God, terrible. It's a game kitty. Yeah, yeah he's a game kitty. I mean, it's like a joy for him to be on the couch with both of us not moving it's like you can cuddle right in the middle and be super happy where did you get the rom that's a secret <laughs> i got the rom from john shampoo i've been doing some um testing uh and doing terrible i've been doing some testing and um he was very gracious enough to let me um do the world debut world live debut of the game and um and i was i did the same thing for uh, mappy as well um did the world debut of, of mappy uh and a whole bunch of other games too um because people seem to like the show which is really nice and they like us playing the games <laughs> and why not have a great outlet for um developers to show off their awesome games um so um, you'll be you'll be able to play it if you go to Portland Retro Gaming Expo in three weeks. Will Atari Age uh, sell versions of this game too at some point? Yes. Is that the idea? Yeah. Um, first half of 2019. Okay. So you can doing stupid moves. So you can buy you can buy it very soon. Like, well, not very soon. Within a year, let's say within a year, because it's not done yet. It is still work in progress. It's like. 98% done. There's just like... Oh, he dodged! Um, there's like a very small list of things that he would like to add to it. We haven't seen the wizard in a long, long time. This looks great. It is great. It is like primo. It is really, really well done. About a thousand times better than the 1982 release. <laughs> so much better. I mean, they didn't have the advantage of the Atari box. Resetting every two seconds. Um, but the Atari box. But they they could have done a couple things better. Um, but there's always... Hindsight, man. It, yeah, it is hindsight. And they, <laughs> and they had development cycles that they had to meet. Um, they had to... 
um, get to a certain, um, I'm distracted. Cat number two has come. Sorry, oh. sorry, I didn't mean to, uh, distract your game. This is Pixel. This is Pixel. He, he is, um, oh, he's biting me. <laughs> oh. Oh, so much pain. He is known for his pixel in his belly. Yeah, he's got a black pixel yeah. that sits all by itself, <laughs> unattached to anything, and that's where he got his name. Yes. Oh, he shows up pretty well. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to read out a couple more things. You okay, you want me to play a single player. Okay. I'm going to put you with the computer. No, I don't, I don't. That's wrong. That's cheating. No, but we haven't done that yet. All right. So you want to play yellow against the cheating. computer? Yeah. So... To do, two that, or that one? to do that, you have a solid of you okay. and a flashing of the other guy, and that's the computer. So you can press the button. Okay. Okay, so. Now it should work. Nope. Okay, opposite. One second. Nope, don't press anything. There. Nope, you just... The other way. <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the flashing is you. Yeah. Okay. Which the, is fun. The stream shows uh, more nope. flicker than one... No. No, I have to use you. Uh, I oh, have what? to use player one. Yeah, okay. that's fine. It's okay. Well, this guy's going to yeah, kick this, my ass. The stream shows more flicker than actually playing on a CRT or LCD. Yes, it does. Um, and that is a little bit due to um, uh, Twitch. Um, is it okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. That's a little bit due to Twitch because when I upload the, the version to YouTube, it actually looks a lot better. Um, so something about Twitch's um, display of 60 frames per second is, is, is a little bit weird, I'm not sure. If somebody wanted to pick up an Atari to play homebrew games and classics found in a garage sales, where do they start? Portland Retro Gaming Expo would be likely to sell selling things, or eBay to get, is the way to go. Well, and there, there are plenty of... Um, uh, I was going to say used video game stores that yep. may have something that you can use. Um, there's a bunch of ways you can get things. You can go to garage sales, but... Not too many Atari 2600s at a garage sales. Those all cleared out those are, those in the 90s, mostly. Hang your on to the 2000s a little bit. So it's fairly rare because people are not cleaning out their closets, their attics and closets to find 2600s. They did a long time ago. Um, you can go to, um, you know, like places like Value Village or... Well, um, I, I don't think... Second-hand stores sometimes. I think it's unlikely you're going to find that nowadays. Yeah, it's um, very, very unlikely for that. And, and also, if you're in a big city, there's... Like, actually, I'm not going to say it to other cities, but if you live in Vancouver, resellers go to all of these things. They go to mm. all the garage sales. They go to all the second-hand stores at 5 a.m. They're buddies with everybody that resells things, so they get them first. And then they mark them up and they sell them at like flea markets or the video game stores. So flea markets are another place to find it. But you're going to be play paying retail for them. Um, Portland Retro Gaming Expo is a really good place. Um, any retro gaming uh, convention. I find the prices to be uh, lower than eBay and lower than Craigslist. Um, because they play a little bit, little bit more fair. Um, so that would be a good place. If you wanted to play homebrew, you can either play it on your computer um, through an emulator called Stella, or there's some web-based emulators as well. Or you can pick up... Um, this is a very, very inexpensive way of playing, but it does not play most of the very advanced homebrew. Psst, 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 psst. Need to be kicked out? Talking to Pixel, not you. <laughs> um, there's two. There's Uno Kart, which is inexpensive but doesn't have. Oh, got the, the wizard! Oh, good. Haven't seen him Get him. in a while. Did he kill the other guy? Yeah. <laughs> or you can buy the Harmony Kart from Atari Age, which plays 99% of the homebrew, like all, all, all of it, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, except for the game that I'll be de debuting very soon, <laughs> which doesn't work on the Harmony Kart and only works in the 
on the Uno cart. So there's going to be a little bit of a split there. Um, nope. Come on. Yeah, yeah. the cat. Oh, you killed me. Oh, you killed me again. I'm not even in the ray. Yes, you are. Okay. Um. Oh, come so, on. Uh, normal games you can get for like a dollar to two dollars, like the common games. Um, for bigger games, ten to twenty. Mm -hmm. um, for an Atari, thirty to fifty dollars, maybe. Oh, do not get the Retron 77. Don't. Don't. It's terrible. It has terrible output. Other than the video output, I would say, sure. Pick that up. It's actually more expensive than buying an Atari. And um, actually, you could buy an Atari and a Harmony cart for about the same as you can pick up the Retron for. Mm. Around. And you get a thousand times more value out of that the old atari system the old atari system but i mean if you're not looking for the system then stella is definitely the way to go if you want to play it on your yeah. computer yeah if you want to play it on the computer yeah okay so let me uh you want to read okay i don't know if i want to read but well I, you have to play I, or I, read. I feel like it's your turn to play so <laughs> play or read okay what am i reading you're gonna read the original <laughs> arcade manual oh geez um nothing like reading manuals on a friday night <laughs> <laughs> let me get it up okay one second <laughs> Just downloading it. There we go. Um, on how to play. This is how to play the... Uh, there you go. Okay, how to play. Wizard of this War. This is the arcade, not this. This is the ar it, arcade? This should be very, very, very similar. The arcade game? Yeah, the stand-up arcade. The Midway arcade. Bally Arcade. Okay. Yes, yeah, the arcade game. Okay, Wizard of War instruction manual. Oh, Flashback Portable. Yes, that is a very inexpensive way to do it, actually. Flashback Portable? Yes, and somebody has hacked a lot of the games to work on the Flashback Portable. All the old games work, um, but some of the very advanced games don't. There's pluses and minuses for everything. The only way that you can play everything is an original Atari and a Harmony card. So that's my high recommendation, but also high cost. Okay, go ahead. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm marveling at the um, various versions, the upright mini and cocktail versions Oh, there's a cocktail, game. yeah. I bet I, that's really rare. I really want a cocktail version. That would be awesome. Uh, someone had mentioned... Of Galaga. In the chat... Galaga, Miss pac No, someone cocktail. had mentioned in the chat they had they, they had a cocktail... Of this? Of this game. Wow, yeah. okay. Or, or, or nearby. I, I, there was some mention. Um, wow. Someone's going to have to pipe up again. Uh, cocktail games are awesome. Uh, no, so I love the warning right at the beginning of the manual, which basically says... Um, um, Do not spill drinks. Here. No, 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 <laughs> not for the cocktail. But yeah, you shouldn't spill drinks on your cocktail. The what colors in this and the flashing and everything and the overlay of Get Ready Go is so amazing. And that, like every, all these add-ins that were not in the 1982 mm -hmm. Atari 2600 version. So, Wizard of War instruction manual. Important note: Do not plug your game, your new game, in yet before you do anything to your game. We recommend that you read sections one and two of this manual. <laughs> okay. Uh, completely. <laughs> completely. It will not take any more than a few minutes, and it may be very helpful. Oh, okay. So, part one is the in introduction, and part two is location and setup. And then there's another 147 pages of well, this manual. Well, no, it's just just the instructions on how to play. No, no, but I just find that very funny. Well, uh, this is like ma how this to is play... like the maintenance manual. No, we're not going through the introduction, location, and setup. I really want a cocktail uh, game though. Yep, Galaga, Miss Pac-Man combo. Galaga, Miss Pac-Man. That's a combo. Is so, it? Yeah, that would be a, the ultimate for me. Because we could actually fit. A, um, game a cocktail version in here. Get him, dude. Second player's useless. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, great show, James and Tanya. Thanks. I have to go to sleep. I haven't got much in the last couple of nights after eye oh, surgery. No. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Yes, if you didn't hear, uh, yeah. uh, Johnny Shampoo. John Shampoo. Johnny sounds like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Shampoo injured his eye. And, um, but he was quite a trooper and kept putting out versions for me to test. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, so rest up. Uh, thanks yeah. for joining us. Yeah. Feel um, better soon. Yeah. Feel better soon. Yeah. Um, 
And I think he's doing okay with his eye, but oh my god. Maintenance and repair. <laughs> I'm not really seeing it how to play. It's like how to set it up. I'm learning a lot about I, how to... I put uh, you on the page. It said instructions and it had point values. It said in introduction. Not instructions. Introduction. And it had point values for each of the Do you want me to read all the, all the introduction out? Yeah, it I'm said how to play. That. That, no, it didn't say how to play. What? Liar. <laughs> it was like on the third page. Introduction. Yeah. That's the introduction. What's okay. all that? Points? It's not. It's not how to play. You you said how to play. That's not what it says. Okay. Introduction. Welcome to Wizard of War. In this magical game, you are a warrior. Warrior with an O. Warrior. Warrior descending into deep dungeon mazes, battling invisible monsters, caca demons, and maybe even the Wizard of War himself. Be of good cheer, warrior, for herein lie many of the secrets of the wizard. Wizard of War is a game for one or two players. When the two-player oh mode God. is selected, both players control their warriors at the same time. Teamwork is the two-player teamwork in the two-player mode is very important, but not necessary. Oh, play. it is. It is. If you have like, a cocktail table model, the rules are the same as for the upright oh model. My God. Only so the player's orientation to the play field is different. Oh. Yeah, because you're on cocktails usually on either side. On either side, yeah. So it kind of has to be sideways, yeah, maybe? Yeah, maybe, yeah. So you're both sideways? I don't know. You start from either end? I don't know. Anyway. The game participants, their colors, and their normal point values are Warrior, player number one. Color yellow. 1,000 points. That's player one is yellow? Well, uh, in the arcade it is. Oh, is he on the Warrior, map? player number two, blue. Hmm. 1,000 points. So you do get 1,000 <laughs> points for hitting each other. Don't do that. Burr War, blue, 100 points. Burr War, that's what Burr it is. Burr War. Gar War, yellow, 200 points. Thor War, red, 500 points. Where did they get these names from? Warlock, blue and yellow wings, 1,000 points. So you get as many points to hit the Warlock as you do to hit your... Um, right your friend your teammate <laughs> and wizard of war blue 2500 points you get a lot of points for the wizard okay. you want to hit the wizard. well he is hard he disappears he has yeah the ability to cloak himself and disappear actually he doesn't yeah. cloak himself he just he teleports he, he teleports because he doesn't actually disappear he completely teleports yeah. Uh, the object of Wizard of War is to descend as far into the Dungeons of War as possible. Kurt may kickstart his Atari on a chip 2600 7800 machine. That would be amazing. I am waiting for somebody to put out an FPGA 2600 7800 would be a nice combo. Um, if it's an exact duplicate. Um, not like the Retron, which is just an emulator in a box. Which, you know, just... You might as well, and a bad one, you might as well put a Raspberry Pi into a box and it would do a better job because it would be updated. Okay, with Stella. Okay, go ahead, rant over. Uh, the object of Wizard of War is to descend as far into the Dungeons of War as possible, killing monsters, beating the wizard, and earning as high a score as you can. The game ends when all the players' warriors have been destroyed. Yeah, bonus player. Yep. Uh, at the start of the game, you are placed in Dungeon 1. It contains six blue bl Burr Wars. Using the joystick and fire blue button... Blue Burr Wars. That's a good way to remember that. Yeah, okay. Blue boar, Burr Wars is very hard to repeat very quickly. Blue Burr Wars, Especially yes. after two glasses of wine. Oh, two glasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, using the joystick and fire button, maneuver your warrior around the maze and ah. shoot them. As you shoot the last Burr War, a yellow Gar War will come, up, come out. Yellow Gar War. Yellow no, it should Gar be Yar War for Yar yellow. War? Um... Gar Wars and Red Thor Wars will turn invisible. Red Thor Wars. The radar will show the positions of the invisible monsters. Invisible Gar Wars and War Wars will become visible when they enter the same corridor that a warrior is in. Oh! Yes. As time oh. goes by, the monsters speed up. The longer it takes before you shoot them, the faster they go. When you have destroyed the Thor War, the first dungeon ends. In the second dungeon, a different maze is randomly selected. Once again, six Burr Wars are placed, placed here. More Gar Wars and Thor Wars will appear this time. However, when the last Thor War has been shot, Warlock God. will come out and try to escape out of one of the side doors. If you shoot him before he escapes, all point values will be doubled in the next dungeon. 
Yes, which is um, very good for her. After scores. Warlock has been shot or has escaped, the Wizard of War may then appear. He teleports closer and closer, continuously firing lightning bolts. He oh. continues to do so until either one warrior has been destroyed. Has he fired any lightning bolts? Yes, he does. Or the wizard has been shot. I never even noticed that he's firing no, anything. No, he, he does shoot. Yeah, mm. for sure. It's not very good at it. After Dungeon <laughs> 3 or 4, a bonus player is awarded. Uh, you must then face the arena. This is the toughest of the lower level dungeons. I feel oh. like we hit the arena on, on Dungeon 2. Um, uh, no, not Dungeon 2. It's like no. 3 or something? Ah! Uh, the Warlord dungeons begin at Dungeon 8. They are oh. very difficult to survive. At yes, Dungeon 13, are. another bonus player is awarded, and you 13. must try to win your way through the pit. So 13 is like the last one. That's when you get your second? Oh my god, that's a long yeah. way. The ultimate goal of Wizard of War is to survive the pit without losing any warriors. I have the 2600 portable as well. I have not played it in a long time since I bought it. Too busy with the show. <laughs> now, what a... Did you get a portable 2600? I did, yeah. Have I played that? I haven't even seen it. It came out, went back in the box. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> I'll have to do a review on it yeah. uh, in terms of like homebrew or play some homebrew on it because it does have video out so I can plug it does into it the really? system. I'm wow. pretty sure it yeah, has video really out. Cool. Um, somebody can confirm that, that it has video out. Mm -hmm. um, in a single player game, the other warrior blue is your friend. He will not shoot you unless you come between him and a monster. Then he will try to shoot the monster and you could be hit by his shot. So is... So in, there's no, the you can't turn off in the arcade. Oh, it's the always shot. there. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, is the second player always there it in the arcade? Like it. Yes. Sounds like it, it the way they're like talking it. about it. In a two-player game, both players play at the same time. They do not take turns. The two players may elect to shoot each other. Elect. elect. Or accidentally. But if you wish to survive for long, you must use teamwork. And that is very true. Once you're down to one, it gets a lot harder. Two players, um, you get a lot further. I, I almost always made it to level eight. Level eight. But now it's like but then six. If I could make it to level eight seven? with you, then maybe you'd make oh, it even yeah. further. Um. Ah. Yeah. It's a bad place to be. That's pretty much it. It says C section two, subsection four, play mode. Play mode. That's For fine. full description of the game. Um. And now, warrior, go forth and do battle with the wizard of war. Can you press the black and white color switch to pause it on the console? Which one? It says power? color black and white. Not power! No! <laughs> the second one. This color one? black and white. Yeah. There we go. Oh. It may or may it not It might work. have to do it. Just wait. Nope. No, it's paused. Okay. Excellent. Now I had a page with all the sayings on it. Oh, the Atari box is long dead. Um, oh yeah, it's very dead. We'll get that going in a second. I want to get the list of uh, sayings up here. There's a ton. <laughs> oh my god. Nope, it's not that. Arcade strategy guide. I think this might be it. Yes, it is. A Sega Genesis arcade power stick. Is the best! <laughs> this is my favorite joystick. Yeah. Um, for most games. Yeah. For most games. For precision games, no. I like the the uh, Epics one. You like this guy? Yeah, for precision, like square it, movements. It, like it up, is. Down. Uh, yeah, there is it's more control. Click, I click, find click. this one um, is a little bit dodgier for making sure you're facing oh, yeah. the right direction. So. I'm going to plug this back in so we can get some voices again. All right. Sorry. That's been neglected. Uh, Isn't you? Sega's controller 2600 compatible? Yes, it is. <laughs> Hence, me playing with it. It is awesome. So you can play with this one or the, the handheld ones as well. The Sega, yeah. The yeah. Genesis controllers are quite good. Yeah, but they're really nice. But this is great. Where, where did you pick that up? Did you pick that up at Vancouver? The Vancouver or? Retro. Yeah. One of them. Yeah, no, I did. I think you did, yeah. yeah. And then I had, to, I had to fiddle with it a little bit. It was a little bit broken. But I got it. It's okay now. Okay deal on it. Would have been better if I didn't have to fix it, but it, it was fine. Mm. Ooh, I need to job. pick up another one though. So two so two players, two? yeah. Yeah. The tent player icons in the bottom are two triple and two double. Oh, that's why. Okay, I forgot about the tripling. Yeah, 
that makes sense. Because you can triple a character up um, with uh, an eight, uh, eight pixel space in between. And I was like, how did they get it so flicker free? I'm like, oh, they're, they're doing it so it's only 30 hertz flicker. So do you want me to go over the... Just some of the sayings. The sayings? Just some of the funnier ones. Uh, okay, so... That was terrible. Should never die. I like that insert guy. coin and game game Wizard. over mode. Oh, he is shooting. Yeah, he is. Oh, he shoots continuously. Oh, I almost. Oh, oh he that got was him. close. That was, he almost got me. It was like a pixel away. Pixel away. I'm out of spite. Ha 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 ha. I'm out of spite? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was the one that was crashing the Atari box, actually. Yeah. Another again. coin for my treasure chest. Ah, uh, yes. Um, my whirlings are very hungry. Ha ha ha. Whirlings. Let's uh, get here. <laughs> I wish, I want to hear this one. You're off to see the wizard, the magical wizard uh, of four. Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> I would lose it. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> um. One bite from my pretties and you'll explode. Ha 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 ha. Um, watch the radar, warrior. Damn it. <laughs> I thought that was a bug when it pushed you over, but it's not. It's part of the game. Thor it's war is cool. red, mean, and hungry for space food. Space food. <laughs> Got the wizard again. Remember, I'm the wizard, not you. <laughs> <laughs> like Another plus, we can read two distinct fire buttons on Sega controllers. Yes, the C button works. I believe it's a C. Nice for games like Super Cobra, where one button shoots, another button drops bombs. Yes. So if you program your game so that you could either play one button or two, that is always the best. And that is a huge advantage of using the Sega controllers. Oof. Another warriors for my babies to devour. Ah! Uh, Dungeon seven again. Okay, you're back in the game. Let's do it. Are we? Yep. All right. So, um, we'll probably wrap it up soon. Mm -hmm. Um, unless there's anything that anybody else wants us to do, or or you want to see in this game us do but i think we've covered a lot of it um did i switch it to two? Oh, actually you can press the button to bypass menus as well which is always nice the um homebrew games nowadays are so good in terms of their options and controls also works with Amiga CD32 controllers? Interesting. Yeah, they were kind of standardized controllers. Um, because there is no uh, patent on the control scheme, I believe, of the DB9 uh, joystick controller. So a lot of different systems use them, including Sega Master System, uh, Commodore 64, um, Amiga. The Commodore Machines, Atari 2600, Genesis, and probably a bunch of other ones that I am missing. But a lot, because why not use something that's already there and already has a lot of joysticks out and you have a lot of uh, choice. Yay, double score! <laughs> I'll get back into the rankings again. I couldn't, I couldn't get into them because it was by myself. I need your help. Do do do. That's it. Resetting. <laughs> over and over again. Poor little Atari box. What's? Well, it's good to know that my Atari box is broken, so I can get a working one. And it's good timing too, so I don't have to um, pay for shipping both ways. I can just bring it down with me to Portland. Yay! Double what? score again. So how many people out there played this game in the arcade or where did you play it first? Um, I played it on my Commodore 64 
um, extensively. Um, because that was a really, really good port that, for the C64. Because the, the graphics were amazing. It didn't have the voices, but um, the graphics were like pretty much arcade. Or like this, maybe a touch better than this, but pretty much this. Um, Mr. Fix played it in the arcade. How are, how are you two having the Atari box and two players at the same time? <laughs> This Beautiful. magic box yeah. made by Nathan Tolbert. Oh, um, that is a prototype multi-tap that uh, Nathan sent to me, and it is working perfectly. Um, you'll be able to see it at uh, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, where this game will be on display. And you'll actually um, be able to play John Champeau at his own game. See if you can beat it. You do get a thousand points for shooting John. <laughs> In the game. It's shooting John. <laughs> In the game. In the game. Not in real life. Don't do that. No, no. He has more games to make. <laughs> I believe his next game is, at least on his list, is called Rip Off. And I it was right put out on the Vectrex. I have. I haven't played it. And, it, and people were asking him, why are you putting out that game? It's not a popular game. And he just has really fond memories of it. So, you know, people make these games for themselves sometimes. Not just going after, you know, the most popular game. It's like, oh, we need a, you know, a Pac-Man or a Donkey Kong or, you know. Still waiting for somebody to make Galaga. For the 2600. Oh, <laughs> it is your favorite game. It is, but I understand. it's too hard. It's really, really... People have theorized that they could make oh. it. Yeah. He's there goes our double, our double dungeon score. It's because there's too many, um, too many characters on one line. When they... <laughs> Dead. Dungeon what? 7! I got, Dead oh, already? I got like five Oh, left. you're just kicking my bum. <laughs> No, I, I die a lot faster than ah. you do. Well, you helped me get to Dungeon, Dungeon 7. 7 without dying too much. But oh, look again. at them all. They're all running around. Oh, I think this is terrible. a good spot right here. It, it's not a terrible spot. But you have to be able to flip back and forth, and that's what I find. And they do home in on you. I find you can't They're really smart. change they... direction quick enough and shoot, if that makes sense. It's that, very hard. It is. Oh, especially if you're... Uh, especially if you're... John and I will be doing Satan's Hollow. Yes! That is another one of my favorite games. I played that to death on the C64. Yeah, your Satan's Hollow... Um, um, oh my god, come on. Um, demo version is so, like, almost complete that it just needs, like... A little bit more, yeah. <laughs> seemingly. We did a, we did. Oh, my god. oh Satan's Hollow. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. I don't know Satan's Hollow. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a vertical shooter, very, very much like Gal. If you can do Satan's oh, Hollow, to the extent the arcade is, you can do Galaga. And actually, you could port it over like that to Galaga. Because you're at the bottom, there's a ton of guys circling at the top and dive bombing you, mm -hmm. and then they come down and, and take your ship away, take your lives oh, away, I and then see. you have to shoot them and your lives come back, oh, I, which I, is very similar sounds, to Galaga. Yeah, 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 you yeah. You probably think of Galaga. No, no, yeah. Not as taxing as Galaga. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Some of those Galaga's upper levels, there's like 20 or 30 guys up at the top. Mm. And they come down like this at you. I can't. Mm. Maybe it's like just barely not as taxing, but it is. It is crazy. Um, so I think that is the last we will be playing of Wizard of War tonight. Um, let's see if I have any wrap up information. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that it's awesome. So it is amazing. so much fun. Yeah, it's a really good game. Great two-player game. Yeah. If you're going to be in Portland, definitely go and try it out. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be on display in Portland, so yeah. you will have a chance to play it in three weeks if you're in the Portland area. Yeah. If you're even close to the Portland area, 
and you're watching this show you should go you have to go <laughs> it's it's a lot it's, of fun i believe the biggest retro gaming expo in north america and i completely believe that because yeah. i've seen pictures of other ones yeah and i've been to houston this houston is supposed to be big too right yeah yeah Not but but quite as big as this but one portland is massive so there's two going at the same time so if you can't go to portland go, go to, to houston, houston yeah and you can uh run into arena foot because <laughs> he'll be there with his books and you can get a signed book of his but atari age is going to be at the portland one with this game on demo with john shampoo playing it and his brother mm -hmm. and we'll be mm. there too playing it austin's is bigger austin i've heard really? austin's is pretty big too yeah we're gonna have to have go there that, yeah uh, I, and austin i've heard is an amazing that. place to visit so um, we could do a portland austin one as soon as they split up their timings when austin it's houston and and portland that oh, that run at the same Houston's, time right which is the one that's at the same time as portland yeah towards arcade machines i mean that's very cool too we um, like arcade machines we like machines. both yeah. <laughs> um we went to a pinball um, i thought thing. houston and portland are around the same time houston is same as same portland. as portland yeah austin's okay. a different time of year I okay think. yeah so um we'll have to work I, that out yeah yeah, yeah. we will mm. um so yeah you can um play this this is super fun this is so close to the arcade especially with the voices he just has a couple more things to implement <laughs> um austin midsummer so quite hot, for hot for y'all so quite hot we yeah. were just in miami it uh, was last hot week, in miami yeah 32 and super super well uh, it's 32 humid. plus a lot of humidity and for of september humidity. but yeah. we have been in las vegas in august so we're not that's not the hottest really we were in phoenix oh phoenix arizona 50 degrees Celsius. oh yeah oh my gosh when we 50, were it was the hottest place I on was the planet there for, actually for a work conference yeah and on the news they kept saying how phoenix at that point in time which was either july or august was hotter than the middle east it was the hottest place on the <laughs> it planet it was the hottest place i'd ever been to i think it was it was like 50 it was it like was 50. 50 it was 50 celsius because it we was saw so it. hot um yeah i agree with the dry heat i grew up in uh ontario in canada oh gretams yeah still so hot here it's yeah it's always hot there it's always hot there um but i grew up in ontario in canada and in the summer it is very humid and hot and i used to work outside for many years so i'm used to the humidity but well not really not I anymore because the west coast is very cool <laughs> so you get very used to it but but we do like the heat miami was lovely yeah yeah. 106 oh wow that's hot um so yeah. i'll be doing a bunch of interviews down at portland retro gaming expo including john shampoo and al from atari age mm -hmm. and also um a bunch of other ones whose names escape me right now mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh yeah dan kitchen i'll be interviewing mm -hmm. that's another person mm -hmm. um so uh, you can meet us down there if you see us because we you know what we look like we don't know what you look like <laughs> so mm -hmm. if you say us wandering around come up and say hi um, as long as we're not doing an interview at that time mm -hmm. that would be good mm -hmm. yeah. and um, uh, next Wednesday is gonna be a huge 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 show you're very excited about this um, Wednesday. Uh, night guy in low-res world is finally working mm -hmm. so we'll be playing you that and that is an amazing platformer, single screen platformer with like 30 different platform rooms. Um, and also an exclusive sneak preview of Spies in the Night 2, the sequel mm. to Spies in the Night. Spies in the Night was and very cool. That, the sequel is so good. I just started playing it and I think you would like it. It's kind Spies of... Spies in the Night 2, yes. the second version. It's... Okay. It reminds me a lot of um, Impossible Mission in certain aspects. It, it really, really does. Is, is there um, a black and white guy backflipping? No backflipping, oh, but okay. there, there's just elements that are similar <laughs> to that. Um, and a big update game, to yeah. Temple Runner. And we might be playing um, Amoeba Jump. Um, we might be playing the game that goes with uno uh the the uno cart uno uno cart yeah mm. um some of that might be pushed to friday so it might be split up depending on which games that i'll be have access to and which ones that they want to do a little bit of fix up first but this next wednesday and friday are going to be big big days 
They had lots of great stuff. No, you and, uh, yeah, is, and we... Is uh, Friday Darcy coming? Yes, Friday Excellent. is Darcy. So that'll be, be good. He'll, he'll be, be back, be, yeah. He'll be uh, in the, in the, in the morning. morning-ish. Morning-ish, uh, earlier. PST, morning PST. Yeah, so, morning PST. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Make sure you follow and subscribe to all the, all the places that are around Zero Page Homebrew and all together. And uh, we'll be back on... Um, Wednesday at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yes. No early Wednesdays for the rest of the year, unfortunately. Well, well, yeah, 2018. Air, by, the, 2018. by the year, you mean 2018. 2018. Yeah. Um, because Erlen has uh, changed his timings around, so he can't come just, early just anymore. Just work schedules which have sucks. changed. Which, which is... sucks a lot, but... It is guys, what it is. It is yeah. what it is. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to turn in. Been a long day. Game looks amazing. Thanks for playing to us and fun show. James Tenu, good night all. Thanks, Charles. Good night, Charles. And thank you to all the people that were tuning in. Yeah. Uh, lots of people. I will mention some of the names, but there's a lot of talk here. Dan, ABC, Dias Posta, Tiki, Dan, K, Mr. Fix, uh, Gretams, Spiceware. Thanks for dropping in. Miss uh, Charles and Check. I said that. Oh, uh... J. J. Elliot. I'm gonna say J. Elliot, not Jelly O. T. T. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say Jelly O. E. T. One one oh one one. I'm sure it's J. Elliot. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen that name before, and he was asking a lot of questions, so I'm get, guessing you're new. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Make sure you tune in next time. Johnny. Uh, of course. Of course, Johnny he's already, WC. He's already uh, turned in. Turned in. That's Johnny okay. WC twenty three. Uh, Ground Trooper. A tasty sandwich. Mm -hmm. Jared Gray West. Carcass. So many names, so many names. I think that's everybody who talked. And thank you to everyone who, like Jellyet. Oh, that's even better. Jellyet. That's awesome. <laughs> so Whatever is, you like. So it is Jellyet. Um, thanks to everybody who was watching who didn't type anything. And if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching it later. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't work with everybody's schedule. But it's always on YouTube the next day. If you see a fat, ugly, balding, blonde dude, it's me in a wheelchair. <laughs> well, then you, you'll stand out, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's very unique. Um, so we'll I will be looking out. for you, Mr. Fix. You will be yeah. there? You'll be at Portland? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. If you see. Well, it's not that big that you don't... Actually, you don't it see. It is pretty big. It is pretty big. It is pretty big. So we'll both be looking for each other yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's in, in the 19th to the 21st. And I have volunteered to help some set up with Atari Age as well. Oh, on, cool. On the Thursday night. Are so, we there Thursday? Yeah, I guess yes, we are. we are. So yeah, we'll be there We'll Thursday. leave really early on Thursday and go in and help. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll set up. Okay. Oh, also, if you're going to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, Expo go into the forums and just write your, go look for the, the Portland forum. And there's a thread on how to get free badges from Atari Age. Oh, nice. Actually, we should, we should get one for you, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I um, a free badge. Yeah. <laughs> and they put your name on it and where you're from or whatever you want to put on it. Mm, I believe nice. there's three lines yeah. that you can do. So definitely go in there. Okay. Not, you know, not, no, at MGC. Well, then we won't be seeing you. <laughs> so you're saying that to everyone else. Yeah. So I won't be looking for you then. Um, <laughs> going out, are you Mr. Fix? Are you Mr. <laughs> Fix? Are you Mr. Fix? Yeah. Um, so that's it. And mm -hmm. um, we will see you in two weeks, I guess. Is it? it well, yeah, Portland's in two weeks, right? No, like on the Friday after. Me? Maybe. Yeah, on the stream again. Well, I mean, it's not to say I won't poke in because it sounds like you're doing some fun stuff. Wednesday, so. Wednesday's at night. Wednesday, yeah. yeah. So you I won't, could. I won't be able to uh, poke in on, on Friday, Friday because I'll be at work, tomorrow. but Wednesday, yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, thanks for everybody for hanging out and see you next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 yeah. p.m. Eastern time on Zero Page Homebrew. Bye-bye. Bye. Where's my mouse? There it is. Bye. <laughs>